Hey, what's up everybody? As always, I hope you're having a good day. So today's video is gonna be real quick. It's about car loans. You know, I always love to talk about them, but I have a lot of people, um, you know, right now they're emailing me looking for help for refinancing. Um, and you know, I always have to ask, you know, what's your interest rate, right? What is it that you're trying to get lowered? And honestly, sometimes I just get blown away based on the interest rates that are out there that these banks and other financial institutions charge because they're outrageous. So I wanna make a quick video for anyone that's really thinking about refinancing or hell, honestly, this works for people that are purchasing a car as well. Um, you know, what their interest rates should be for a certain credit score range. So I want you guys to use this as a template. You know, if you're not anywhere near this, if you're like way higher than these rates, then you need to do something about it because you're gonna save a lot of money if you can fix this stuff. So let's start off with a credit tier where we're talking about not the best credit, okay? Um, I'm talking anywhere between like 550 or lower. Now, you're gonna be paying high rates almost anywhere you go. But still, you know, there's no need to be paying 20 plus percent. I would say in this range, again, 550 or lower, you should be looking at an interest rate probably somewhere around 14%. Now again, that is a very high interest rate for a car loan. And if you are in this position where, you know, your rates are, are somewhere around here, you need to do everything you can to get that credit score built up so you can refinance it, right? Don't pay that interest rate. You have no business paying that. It's just causing you to bleed money. You're not building equity. It's bad news. Just get away from it. Okay, so the next credit tier, uh, what we would call D credit, and the last one was E credit. Now D credit, at least for my institution, would be for anyone who has a score between 551 and 599. That's D tier, and you're looking at about an interest rate of 11%. Okay, next we've got C tier. This is for those that have a score between 600 and 639. This is right in the middle, okay? It's not great credit, it's not bad credit. Hell, if you don't have any credit at all, more than likely, you're gonna be in the C tier. Now, these interest rates, we're probably looking at about six, six and a half, seven, somewhere in that ballpark. Next, we got B tier, the beginning of what I consider to be decent to good credit. You've got 640, all the way up to 679. That's the B tier, and you're looking somewhere around like three and a half percent. All right, next tier, A tier, what I consider to be the beginning of really good credit, that's anyone between 680 and a 739. Now, a lot of you guys may be saying, oh, I've got a 690, and you know, my bank told me that I only have mediocre credit. Well, look, they're just telling you that because you know they need to justify the high interest rates that they charge. Okay, 690, 700, that's good credit. If you've got your credit somewhere around there, you should feel proud of yourself because a lot of people don't. So, 680, 739, A credit, and you're looking at about 2.5%. Lastly, you've got A plus credit, which is anyone between 740 and above. You know, at my institution, it doesn't matter if you're an 850, an 800, a 744, a 762, it's all A+. plus. Once you get above 740, you are at the best credit tier that there is, and that interest rate goes all the way down to 1.5%. So those are the interest rates that I would say I think are good rates. I know my credit union is super competitive when it comes to auto loan interest rates, and I want you guys to use this as a benchmark. If you have a car loan or you're thinking about buying a car and you don't really know what a good interest rate would be, this is what you need to compare it to because I promise you these are very good rates as far as car loans go. Now I do want to say here real quick, there's a possibility that you know the Federal Reserve raises interest rates, which is ultimately going to probably increase car loan rates here in the coming year or so. So if you are thinking about doing anything, act on it quick before rates go up. You're going to be kicking yourself six months from now if, you know, you could have gotten a 3% car loan, but now, you know, that rates have gone up, you're getting 5%. That's, you're going to be frustrated yourself. So don't make that mistake. Act on this as quick as possible. You know, I'm helping out as many people as I can. If you got questions about refinancing or buying a car or really any personal finance questions, always email me. Uh, common sense Mike at gmail.com. You can always tweet as well at common sense Mike. Whatever you need to do so we can get in touch and get you in a better financial position, that's what I'm here for. So now that you know what good rates would be, I want you to compare that to what you have. 
Again, if you are in a position where your credit score has significantly improved since you got the loan, you need to take advantage of a rate drop, you need to take advantage of a refinance, whatever you need to do to get that rate lowered so you can save money, do it. It's going to help you out. You know, if you refinance and your monthly payment goes lower, well then hell, use that money to pay off any other debt that you have quicker. You know, if you're saving $100 a month, use that money to pay off other credit card debt. If you don't want to do that, keep paying that higher monthly payment, but just now that you've got it at a lower interest rate, you're going to pay the loan off quicker and save a lot of money. Guys, your car loan is one of the most important loans that you have because it's typically a bigger loan, right? Most of the time people aren't taking car loans out for $5,000. They're doing it for 10, 15, 20, all the way up to $40,000 and more sometimes. So these are not small loans. And when you've got big loan amounts with mediocre to bad interest rates, we're talking big interest payments. And what I want you guys to do is click on this link. It's down here below. And it's going to show you kind of what the total amount of interest that you're going to pay on the lifetime of your loan is based off certain interest rates. And I want you guys to literally do the math. See how much money you can possibly save by refinancing your car loans. Or if you're considering buying a car, just how big of a difference your interest rate is going to make. All right, so here's the website, and now let's start taking a look at this stuff. All right, guys, so this is the website that I want to show you. I know I've done this before in a separate video, but a lot of y'all may not have seen that one, and I really want to make sure you learn this lesson because, again, your car loan is really going to dictate a lot of your financial success or failure. Ideally, you don't want to have any debt, but unfortunately, that's not the case for most people. They've got car loan uh, they've got credit card debt, they've got personal loans, you know, whatever it may be, this stuff makes a huge difference. Now, you know, the calculator that I'm going to play with here real quick, this is geared towards a car loan scenario, but at the end of the day, it applies for any situation. These numbers will work for credit cards, personal loans, student loans, cars, houses, whatever you want. Okay, but let's say someone is buying or refinancing a car and, you know, the dollar amount of this car is going to be about 20 now that's pretty much an average size car loan. I'm not going to say it's cheap because it's certainly not, but at the end of the day, you know, it's not some car loan that's less than 10,000 where it's, you know, a relatively affordable and cheap car, and it's also not some crazy car where it's like 50,000 or more. So, we're going to be playing around with 20,000. Let's say they can afford a monthly payment of $500, which is pretty steep, but, you know, let's just play around with that. And and now's the part where we get to the interest rate. And before I kind of start off with the first one, I'm going to say this. Like I said, I get a lot of people that email me looking for help and, you know, they want to refinance their car loan and I ask them what the rate is. Every now and then, this is what I'll get. A very, very high interest rate. And I've had this multiple times and I need to let you guys know, anything higher than like 15% you really truly need to do something because that interest rate is just going to cause you so much financial harm. But anyways, I just wanted to say that real quick, but every now and then I will get an interest rate of somewhere around 20%. Okay. So here's what we're working with. $20,000 loan. They pay 500 a month and they have an interest rate of 20%. Let's find out how much interest is going to be charged in the long run. So here we go. We're going to calculate the value. And they are going to pay $13,233 in interest. And like, that should make you sick. That is just offensive. That is all sorts of bad. You don't want this. This is just going to set you up for so much grief and struggle when it comes to finances. So please, again, this should really illustrate to you, do not get a loan, any type of loan, with this type of interest rate. It's just... It's all sorts of bad. How to get that out of the way. So now let's get away from these ridiculous interest rates of 20% or more. And let's say someone is refinancing and they can get in the C tier, right? Like I said, that's between 600 and 639. Their interest rate is going to be about 6.5%. Just this one is going to be a huge difference, right? Instead of paying $13,000 in interest, they're going to pay $2,000. 600 and I don't even consider six and a half to be that great of an interest rate But in this case it it's almost infinitely better. I mean this person's already saving over ten thousand dollars Right, and that's that's crazy ten thousand dollars and it's the same car. It's the same loan amount 
it's the same monthly payment, right? But $10,000 saved, right? So again, this stuff makes a difference. We need to pay attention to the stuff. Now we're gonna go to the next tier, the B tier, anywhere between 640 and 679. I believe that interest rate should be somewhere around 3.5%. And that interest is going to be $1,297.34. So again, we are just keep on seeing that number go down. Let's go to the next tier. A tier between 680 and 739. I think the rate's going to be about two and a half percent, and that total interest is 904 dollars. So we're under a thousand dollars now. Lastly, the A plus credit, which is anywhere between 740 and above. Again, I do want to let you guys know this is for my institution. Everyone's going to be a little bit different, but I would say use my institution as a benchmark because I know we have wonderful rates. So 740 or above, A plus credit is 1.5%, and that is $530 in interest compared to the 13,000 number that we had in the beginning. Okay, think of all the things that you could do with $12,500. If someone told you that you saved that much money, I mean, you, you may wanna hug them because that is ridiculous. That's, that's almost buying a whole new, you could buy another car <laughs> with, with that $12,000 in savings. So this is so important, guys. I do not want to see any of my viewers ripped off, financed with a company that's not helping them out. I don't want you guys to do business with anyone that charges you ridiculous interest rates. I want you guys to put yourselves in the best situation you possibly can. So I hope this kind of informed you guys. I hope this motivated you. And more than anything, I hope you put yourself in a position where you can succeed in life from a financial standpoint, from a happiness standpoint, from any standpoint that you want. And unfortunately, money causes a lot of people grief and hard times and suffering, and Carlin's are part of that. But even if you're in debt right now, there's always something that you can be working towards to at least get that in a better situation. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a good day. As always, comment, like, subscribe grow this community. I'm so happy to have y'all here, but thanks for watching and have a good day.